Operation Pagisa is an initiative of the South African government which aims to implement priority economic and social programs better, faster and more effectively. The Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries is the lead department for the Oceans Economy Aquaculture Focus Area and its deliverables. It is estimated that the Oceans Economy has the potential to contribute up to 177 billion rand to our GDP by 2033, compared to 54 billion in 2010, and to create approximately 1 million jobs compared to 316,000 in 2010. My name is Sheree Hopkirk. Um, I've been working at Abigold for the last um, year and two months now. Mm -hmm. And I find so much joy. And, and the joy that I get from it is it's working with the people and being able to know that we one of the bigger, biggest employment employer um, in, in places like Hanspy and Hermanus. We're putting so much back into the communities and seeing them grow and, and knowing that there is really people that's looking forward to get into the aquaculture industry and, and taking this forward. I'm Chris Wilkinson, I'm the manager here at um, HRK Buffaliax. Um, it's a new farm. We have 32 employees currently. By the end of the year we'll have 42 and uh, within the next year we'll have uh, close on to 90 employees. Currently we've got um, 19 tons of abalone on the farm and if the next year it goes through, um, we would like to have 500 tons. My name is Ruben Saul. I'm the chairman of the Dwarongbai Development Trust, um, initiative that we started in 2007. About five years after that, we, we successfully formed the Dwarongbai Abalon Company. So the Dwarongbai Development Trust is the first community in South Africa obtaining a 35% shareholding in a commercial abalone farms. My name is Nico Prince. I'm the farm manager for Blue Ocean Mussels. Currently we're sitting at a uh, um, production capacity of 700 tonnes mussels per annum and we're going to increase that to about 2,000 to 2,200 um, tonnes per annum. There was a lot of people skeptical about Pakiso when it started. Um, there's a lot of people, there was a lot of people with the wrong understanding, thinking that you're going to get millions of rand for free just to do whatever you like. Apart from the, all the benefits that came out of Pakiso, I think it structured, Pakiso structured the whole thing a little bit. It was not a lot of loose ends anymore. Job creation is an important thing. It's not only the numbers being created, but it's the potential for taking people up the ladder, if so to speak, because of the um, long-term livelihood of a, of a project like this. My name is Nolan Adams. I represent a small mussel farming company in Saldana Bay called African Olive. We have now six rafts. Through Operation Pakisa, they, they assisted us tremendously. And by the end of 2018, we'll, we'll fill the, 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 the water space to capacity and we have 30 rafts. My name is Baren Stander. Um, I'm the manager of the Malapong uh, trout farm here in Saldana. Uh, the project's been going from uh, November last year and um, we basically got two cages in. It's still on pilot fails, phase, so we're doing uh, research only now. Um, but things are going very well, so we are progressing to, to do a basic assessment and to go further um, with the project. The, the sector, South Africa's aquaculture sector, has been going through devel development times and they were identified a new species called dusky cob. So what the department decided to do was uh, take on the role as um, with the industry and try to develop the dusky cob industry um, within South Africa. And they looked at the Hamburg Aquaculture Project as a possible site to do a pilot project on dusky cob, as well as continue with the oyster farm within the vicinity. I'm Richard Clark, I'm the Managing Director of Wild Coast Avalone. We currently produce about 160 tonne of Avalone a year. Uh, we've got 220 employees currently working. And um, yes, we farm Avalone, we grow it and export it. 